seated comfortably in any seated posture with eyes gently closed, spine upright, shoulders braced back, back of the head in line with the spine, making sure you are comfortable. At this moment, some of us may feel, but I can't sit in Sukhasana or I can't sit in Padmasana. Instead of using that negative word, use an affirmation. A positive word. An affirmation like, I will soon be getting into the lotus pose with my regular practice. Find your alternative pose. And say, I can do it, I am doing it. I can do it, I am doing it. I can do it, I am doing it. And once in Padmasan, the lotus pose, or Sukhasan, the happy pose, try to slowly withdraw your mind to look at that vast infinite space in front of your closed eyes. Look at colors or shadowy movements or darkness or light. This vastness is called Chidakash. And Chidakash orientation, which we are doing now, is an excellent practice to begin any session of asans, pranayams, mudras, buns. The mind comes back into stability into somehow. From this Chidakash, taper your awareness to the eyebrow center to visualize a candle flame there. So now the candle flame is from the base at the eyebrow center, center point, all the way up to the hairline. Any size, concentrate on it with the mind's eye. The bhati, that is the light. At the kapala, that is the forehead, is what we are seeing now. We use this word often when we are doing the kapala bhati breath work. We are currently looking at the bhati at the kapal. Intensify the awareness as if no other sound is going to distract us from this visualization. Keeping intensified awareness on this candle flame. Let us chant the mantra Om, this eternal sound Om. The sound from which most mantras originate. The sound, the dhwani from which the universe emerged. Inhale fully, stare at the candle flame. Hold the inhalation as if you are in no hurry to chant the mantra. An exhale in an om. And the next round of an inhale. Purak. Hold the inhalation, Antar Kumbhak. Rechak. Hold the exhalation, Bahir Kumbhak. Third round, Purak. Antar Kumbhak. Oh. 
that was a rechak by Hir Kumbhak. Staring at the candle flame, that is the bhati, the light. At the forehead, that is the kapal. Start with active exhalations, pulling your abdomen in. In case we have any beginner here, you can slowly open your eyes. I have tilted my camera to show the lotus pose Padmasan. And how the abdomen moves in with every exhalation. Continuing to keep eyes closed, continuing to stare at the Bhumadhyaya, continuing to keep intensified awareness on the candle flame. Twist now, completely twist to any one side. To do abdominal kapalbhati in a twist. Check if the stare is still at the eyebrow center, at the candle flame. Twist the other side now. Twist so much that shoulders are parallel to the wall on that side. Drishti, that is mind's eye, is still at the candle flame. Come back to the center. Continue Kapal Bhati with the mind's eye at the Bhu Madhya. Don't stop. Take a pause if you need to and restart or just slow yourself down and increase the speed. If you think you can effortlessly continue the same pace, the same speed, then pick up speed. Go a little faster. What you've just done is reversed a lot of problems. What you have just done with the visualization and the kapal bhatis and kapal bhatis with a twist is reversing confusion, reversing depression, reversing apathy, reversing an inability to learn. You have just got clarity in thought, clarity in inner vision. You have just enhanced your intuition. You've just reversed difficulty in self-expression. You have just started reversing a skin disease and allergy, vertigo, sore throat situations. You have just 
although this may be a tip of the iceberg, you've just lifted a foot probably to walk a long path, reversed blockages connected with the immune system. You've reversed heart problems. You've reversed lack of comp compassion. You're now allowing love, a sense of peace. You've reversed the sense of victimization to get more centeredness. You've reduced anger. You've increased digestion. You've reversed poor digestion. You're back into energy. You're back into effectiveness. You're back into spontaneity. You're back into a non-dominating power. You've reversed kidney troubles, uterine problems, sexual malfunctions. You've got your stiff lower back more into ease just with Kapal Bhati's. So know that Kapal Bhati is not just Kapal Bhati. You've reversed obesity on the abdomen. You're back into well-sculpted body, a tip, in the, a tip of the iceberg, a drop in the ocean, but this was a beginning. You strengthened your survival instinct. You finally got that longevity because you're going to get more breaths in this lifetime only with these few kapal bhatis that you did now. You've strengthened your survival instincts. You've reversed weight disorders, spinal problems, knee troubles, hammerheads, varicose veins, to get back into health, into prosperity, into wealth, into security, into a dynamic presence. Only by continuing Kapal Bhati. Kapal Bhati. Continue. Don't stop. Now start counting Kapal Bhatis in a descending order from 108. I just finished 108. How about you? Starting from 108, counting in descending order, I just reached one and then zero. I announced that I just finished 108. Discontinue Kapal Bhati. Watch your breath. Of the several disorders or health that I mentioned in Kapal Bhati, how Kapal Bhati reverses those problems, try to associate with any one where you are asking the universe to heal you. And if you don't have any, asking for longevity, Dirg Ayushi, long life. Stay with that. Universe is ready to give you a lot. It is our scarcity mindset complaining nature that we may not be able to receive. 
I'm now going to count from 108 to one in a descending order. Once again, this time I do the counting for you. First go out there to ask the universe to heal, to reverse that one health problem. Actually saying I'm healed, I'm healed, I'm healed. Or ask for longevity and restart Kapal Bhati. 108, 107, 106, 105, 104, 103, 102, 101, 100, 99, 98, 97, 96, 95, 94, 93, 92, 91, 90, 89, 88, 87, 86, 85, 84, 83, 82, 81, 80, 79, 78, 77, 76, 75, 74, 73, 72, 71, 70, 69, 68, 67, 66, 65, 64, 63, 62, 61, 60, 59, 58, 57, 56, 55, 54, 53, 52, 51, 50, 49, 48, 47, 46, 45, 44, 43, 42, 41, 40, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Discontinue Kapal Bhati. Check only one thing at this point. Has your breath slowed down? Has your breath become more rhythmic? Awareness is dropped now from the eyebrow center to the area between the upper lip and the nostrils. Intensify the awareness. These innumerable kapal bhatis was pulling our abdomen in because with every exhalation, we would pull our abdomen in. That's what kapal bhati involves. And hence you heard innumerable problems being reversed with just kapal bhati, a breath work, a shodhan kriya. We now do the reverse where we inhale and inflate our abdomen like a balloon <laughs> and then we exhale, exhale, exhale. So our exhalations are in a viloma pranayam. Inhale fully, inflate the abdomen like a balloon, pushing the pelvic platform down, feel a release, experience it. Hold this inhalation with an inflated abdomen, but with a detensed body. So shoulders, neck, nothing should be tense. Hold the inhalation for as long as you can. 
we've inhaled and pushed our pelvic platform down so that oxygenated air <clears throat> is doing a lot of work. And the moment you want to exhale, make it one third, one third, one third. Do totally three rounds of this. We just did one together. Viloma Pranaya. On finishing the third round, come into a twist. Turn the head again so that the chin is on the shoulder blade. Pulling the abdomen in as much as you can with every exhalation. Kapal Bhati. Don't count. Don't do anything. Just do active exhalations with the mind's eye on the navel. Watch how the navel moves with every exhalation. Without discontinuing, so continuing with the Kapalbhati exhalations, twist the other side. So you're actually doing Kapalbhati exhalations as you twist. Coming to the center, going the other side. Turn your head again over the other shoulder blade. Kapalbhati is continuing. The palm on the opposite knee helps to give you a little bit of a push <clears throat> into getting your shoulders parallel to the wall on the other side. The hand behind the other buttock also helps the push. We want to twist well. Pull the abdomen as much in as possible with every exhalation. Fearlessly. Continuing with Kapalbhati exhalations, come back to the center. Keep very intensified awareness on the abdomen being pulled in with every exhalation. Now place your right palm on your navel and left palm on the chest. Checking if the navel is moving with every exhalation of Kapalbhati.
Continue. Continue. Don't stop. There's often a question about Kapal Bhati. Will my blood pressure or hypertension increase? Or I'm already very slim, very thin. Will I get thinner? Because Kapal Bhati is supposed to be making, uh, reducing weight, giving me a well-sculpted body? No. Kapal Bhati only heals. It will do you no harm. It will only repair any problem. I named innumerable ones. Kapal Bhati only reverses problems. Reverse confusion, depression, apathy, inability to learn, blindness, Mental stress, migraines, rigidity in the thoughts, eye strains, headaches. Increase clarity in thought, inner wisdom. Enhance your intuition. Reverse allergies, skin diseases, sore throat, vertigo, thyroid problems, blockages anywhere in the heart. Reverse pain, reverse acidity, reverse gas, flatulence, indigestion, a feeling of sense of victimization. Increase effectiveness, energy, immunity, spontaneity, sexual fulfillment, depth of feeling, a feeling of grace, make a dynamic presence now. Accept ability to change. Reverse knee problems, weight disorders, spinal problems, blockages, innumerable problems with only Kapal Bhati. Just Kapal Bhati. And you may say, I have none. Guess what? Kapal Bhati gives longevity. So now, after placing the palms down, Discontinuing Kapal Bhati. Check if your breath has slowed down. I want each one of you here to be a yoga guru, I want to create a tribe of going and spreading not only my country, my India, but the entire planet, good health. And that will happen only if you believe in the miracles of breathwork. And the miracle breathwork will only show us results with regular practice. Do as much as you can. The more you influence others, the more good you're doing to yourself. I can't have a scarcity mindset if I teach others not to have one. I can't be a complainer if I teach others to be uncomplaining. It is the same with each one of us here today. Believe in the miracles of Kapal Bhati to spread the goodness. And then regardless, don't expect them to believe. They may be in their own stressful zones, in their own pain, in their own time limitations and constraints. Continue helping others. There are so many of us here already and talking and spreading the goodness to neighbors and they are the ones who have shown miracles in their own health. So this is to make your health, your breath, yourself, your life a miracle.
in today's session by slowly opening your eyes and yet continuing to watch how resonant and slow your breath got with today's breath work. Stay meditative even with open eyes. It's called Unmani. With that, we end today's session. Thank you all. Hari Om Tat Sat. <laughs>